Would you like to join us while we make ice cream inside of a ball? First, we're going to start off by pouring our cream into the ball. I just used heavy whipping cream. These are a few of my nephews. They're going to help us make this ice cream. After we pour in all of our cream, we're going to go ahead and add our sugar. We're going to use a little over a third of a cup. You don't need to mix any of this in a bowl beforehand and then pour it into the ball because you're going to see what the ball is going to do. The ball is going to do all of the work for us. Well, not all of it, but it's going to help us do all the work. This ice cream recipe is extremely simple. It's just heavy cream, sugar, and then some vanilla extract. Now that my nephews are older they're a lot harder to find fun things for us to do because they all like different things so usually by the time i find something fun for us they all decide they want to do something else because it's boring but they seem more excited than i am to make this ice cream which is amazing now that we have our three ingredients our cream our sugar and our vanilla now we need to add the stuff to the other side which is going to freeze our ice cream so we're going to flip this over and unscrew this other cap and then this is we're going to fill in all of our freezing materials if you remember from the last few times we made ice cream we made ice cream with my grandma and we made made ice cream with Malad in the hotel room, we use the same thing each time, and that's going to be some salt and some ice. I'm sure you remember how this works, but we're going to remind you anyway. We add the salt to melt the ice while keeping it all still cold. But if you want to get more technical, what happens is the salt molecules disrupt the way the ice molecules form and actually causes it to melt. You would think of it as melting, but technically it's not actually called melting because it's not increasing the temperature and causing it to become a liquid again. When you add the salt, it makes the ice actually become even colder colder and it makes it a liquid again now that we completely filled the other side of our ball with ice we're gonna go ahead and add a ton of more salt on top we just want to really make sure that we have enough salt to break down all of the ice and make sure it gets really nice and cold in there listen to this kid do you agree with oakley oh, that looks so good that looks so good. It's salt and ice. We're supposed to be making ice cream, and this kid's more excited about watching me pour salt onto the ice. It's time to throw the other lid on top, and you want to make sure you get them on extra tight. This is brand new. I've never used this before, so I'm super curious to see if we have any leaks, because we have liquid on both sides of these, so hopefully I screw these on tight enough. Now, here's where all the real fun begins. We have to play with this for about 15 to 20 minutes. The thing is, this ball is pretty heavy. If you ever played with a medicine ball, it's kind of like that. If you go to kick it, it kind of hurts your feet. So you have to like kick it differently than you would a regular ball. I know you're watching this. You're probably like, oh, this is so wholesome. We're having so much fun. We're hanging out as a family. But that's because I edited out all the fighting and the crying because I figured you didn't want to be a part of that, right? You know, being a kid is tough sometimes. And you just have those emotional days where every little thing just kind of makes you upset. But hopefully getting some ice cream will fix all of that. The bad part is I never really set a timer. And there's no way to really check on it besides to open it up. And I don't want to do that outside because this ball is going to be super dirty so let's go ahead and go clean this off inside i'm going to be honest with you my expectations are very low for this i made ice cream with a similar recipe inside this little cup the other day it didn't go so well it just didn't taste very good so i'm not expecting this to be very good either but hopefully the fun process of making it will make up for whatever taste it has all right so you remember when we thought it might leak uh there seems to be a different problem now it's not that it was leaking i screwed it on way too tight and so um now we're struggling to even get it off okay we're good i tried to fix it but you can't really hear it but the boys had a collective gasp and they all just were like in awe of me opening it and they went it looks so good they were trying to be so quiet and respectful about it but they couldn't hold in the fact that they were just shocked and amazed that it worked out so well this is the part where i failed though i should have brought a spade with me i always have spades on me but today I didn't, and it was a huge no, fail because it, it would have been okay. way easier to use no, my spade to scoop other, this okay. out than this cheap dollar store scooper. The thing that's nice about regular ice cream machines is it has a blade that spins around the inside and scrapes all of the ice cream off the walls so that you don't end up like this. All of our ice cream is frozen to the walls, and it's a little soupy in the middle, so we could probably could have went a little bit longer. But hey, it still looks like it's going to actually be pretty right, good. Go. Mm, that's good. It's actually really good. Wow. Mm -hmm. Bro. That's, that's good. actually really, really good. That's good. Mm -hmm. right. I've always tried it. You gotta rate it. What do you want to rate it, D'Angelo? 10 out of 10. What about you, Aiden? 10 out of 10. What about you, Oakley? 10 out of 10. Honestly, same though. This is this is really, really good. How about we taste the chocolate when we make chocolate? Actually, I'm gonna do a thousand. You wanna do it? Mm -hmm. Alright. A thousand or a thousand. <laughs> okay. Well, that turned out extremely better than I was expecting. I probably should have filled the ball with even more mix so that we had more ice cream because now we all want more. So let's go ahead and make some more with the kids. If you made it this far, do me a favor and show me by putting any ball emoji in the comments. Next time, we're going to have to make them some chocolate, but we're going to make another batch of vanilla. 